In the previous video, we covered how to input data. We showed you how to click into a field and type, just like a mini word processor. We showed you how to tab. We even showed you how to create a new record. As you can see, we filled in the rest of the information here on both of these records. What we're going to do next is show you how to add a photo into here. All you have to do is click into this field. It's a specialized field that stores things like PDF documents or Word documents or pictures or just about anything on your hard drive that you can create. For right now, we're going to stick with just pictures because this is a, you know, designed to carry a photo here, as you can see. All you do is click into it and it highlights just like a regular field. And then you can choose insert and you could choose file or PDF or audio video or picture. So we're going to choose picture here. I'm going to locate my picture, click insert, and it's that easy to put it in there. You can do that for every single contact you want. Now you probably have existing data. Maybe you have a contact manager already that you have data in but you need to move to FileMaker. Maybe you have an Excel spreadsheet. Maybe you have an access database. Who knows where this data is coming from? Now FileMaker will import Excel data directly from an Excel file. But if you have another program, you might need to export to Excel, or you could export to tab separated, or even comma separated. What we have here is a tab separated. And what you'll see here is that each one of these values is separated by a tab character. So we have first name, tab, last name, tab, so on, and then when we get to the end we have a return right here and then the next person. So that's how the database in any really database or any program reads this information. It looks for tabs and returns or commas and returns or Excel has a proprietary format. So what we're going to do is go up to the file menu, choose import records, and choose the first one called file. That's the most common. We're going to locate that file click open and it's going to give you this field mapping dialog it's actually really easy to use on the left side you have all of your fields now the first row inside of that document are field names so if we go to the next one we can actually see the data so we can navigate through them and on the right side you have your FileMaker database these are all the fields you can import into so all we have to do is match them up and make sure there's an arrow there so it's pretty easy to do. There's first. They have different names where we can import them. We move last up there. We just grab this little arrow there. Now we don't have a title field, but we do have an address field, so we'll scroll down until we find it. There's work address. Put it right in there. Then we have city. There's work city. And then we have county here, but we're not going to put county in here. We're going to do state. There it is match that up go down and find work zip code or postal code depending whether you're in uh, the United States or Canada and then we have phone one phone two email and web okay so we'll choose phone one as office phone and then we'll choose the mobile as phone two and we'll look at what email addresses we have here let's see did I pass them up here I might have done that Oh, there we go, personal email. And I think we have, if we look over and move this over a little bit, we have office email also. So you need to look, oh, it's right there, right in front of my face. There we go. We'll put that in there. And then the website, I think it's called URL in here. Let's see. Oh, there's website. Got the same name, good. So not only do you have to match them up like this, you also have to make sure there's an arrow between them. So you can see company name here. We forgot that one. We need to move that one up there. There it is. And you see there's no error there, so we got to click on it. And you see how it just changes between the two different choices. So we need to make sure there's an error in there. Otherwise, it's not even though it's matched up, it's not going to import. So pretty simple. Make sure these are all matched up and have arrows. And we also want to say don't import the first record. It contains field names. Now it won't import those labels that we had inside that file. And what we also want to do here is make sure it's on Add New Records. 
We have update and update matching. We don't need, we want to add new records. And then you simply click import. There's a thing in here that says perform auto enter options while importing. Um, usually that's a good idea that will auto enter all kinds of things like modification dates, serial numbers. We're, you're not familiar with those, but it's if you're not, it's probably a good idea to check it so that it goes ahead and puts those values in there for you. So click import, it gives you a little summary. No errors, 100 records are imported. And now we can see that we have 100 of 102. That means we have all these new people in here. So it's pretty easy to import data, not too difficult. It doesn't matter whether it's an Excel document, tab separated or comma separated, all imports the same way.